we have 293 plus 10. Now rather than thinking of the number 293 as two hundreds, nine tens and three units, we can instead think of the number as 29 tens and three units. So we haven't added or subtracted anything here, we've just regrouped our hundreds as tens. Now we're adding one ten, so if we add 110, we now have 30 tens, so we have our answer 303, because we know that 30 tens make 3 hundreds. So 29 tens plus 110 gives us 30 tens, and we can regroup these 30 tens to make 3 hundreds. Now what is 285 plus 20? Again, rather than thinking of 200s, 8 tens and 5 units, we can regroup to make 28 tens, and we're adding 2 tens, so let's add 1, 2 tens, and that gives us 305 because we have 30 tens, and of course we can regroup these 30 tens to make 3 hundreds. Now we have 188 plus 30. So if we regroup our 100, that gives us 18 tens, and we're adding 3 tens. So if we add one, two, three tens, we now have 218, because we have 21 tens, which we could regroup into two hundreds and one ten. And of course we still have the eight units that we started with. Now what is 254? plus 70. Well, if we regroup, we have 25 tens, and we're adding 7 tens. So let's add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. That gives us 324, because 25 tens plus 7 tens gives us 32 tens, which we could regroup into 3 hundreds and 2 tens. And of course we still have the 4 units that we started with, so we have 324.